local initiative is honoring the memories of black Pittsburgh baseball players who were buried in unmarked graves. The first dedication ceremony will actually be held tomorrow. I'm joined by the executive director of the Josh Gibson Foundation. We have Sean Gibson here. So good to have you. Thanks on our for show. having me. Thanks for having me. So uh, how did this initiative get started? What, what inspired you to do this? You know, it was crazy because last year was our my grandfather's 50th anniversary of Hall of Fame induction. So we had several events going on and a young man found my grandmother's unmarked grave. We never knew. She died in 1930, August 12th. We never knew her grave was unmarked all this time. Wow. And so it inspired me because I'm thinking like, who else don't know this? Right. And so it inspired me to go out and research and, um, and now we're doing over 18 grave sites. Our first one is tomorrow, as you mentioned. So it was very um, interesting to find out that way, but I'm pretty sure other family members didn't know as well. And so tell us whose grave site you will be marking tomorrow. Yep, so tomorrow is Ernest Gooden. Uh, he played in the Negro Leagues. He played with two teams here in Pittsburgh, the Keystone, uh, Pittsburgh Keystones. He played with a little bit of the Homestead Grays. He had a short career in the Negro Leagues, about three years, but um, you know, he died very young. He was born in 1930 here in Pittsburgh and died at 34, 1934. He died at 34 years old. Very young man, um, didn't have any kids. And so we picked his lot because um, working with the cemeteries, if they don't have any known relatives around, it's easier to just uh, go ahead and get the permission from the, from the grave site. And so he'll be the first one, but we'll be doing about five or six this year. Wow. What does this mean for the uh, Josh Gibson Foundation and, and what you hope that it represents? Well, I think the most important thing is that we're using Josh Gibson's platform to help others. And um, as I mentioned, you know, we're going to be doing over about 20 grave sites this, throughout the years. Um, but the most important thing is just giving those guys a final resting place. Yeah. You know, when you have an unmarked grave, you know, people can't come see, you don't know where you're at. Now, you know, Ernest and the rest of the guys we're going to be doing is going to be finally, I, I will say, finally rest in peace. And now when people go to do this research, they'll find them, and that'd be hard to find. And for Ernest, he gave back to the history of baseball. He's part of this legacy. Oh, yeah, all these players are part of this legacy. I mean, you know, they played in a time when, and we all know, African Americans were playing the majors. And so these guys are not just part of baseball history, they're part of American history and our, and our history in the Negro League. So all these guys gave back to the communities. Uh, most of the guys that we're going to be giving um, more graves to are from Pittsburgh. And when you started doing your research looking into this, were, did you find yourself like taken aback a little bit that this had taken place, that you were, that this needed to be done even? Oh yes, yeah, very, you know, taken, taken back that they didn't have unmarked grave. You just assume people's grave sites are marked. And um, I think for me, it's more though getting the history of it because I'm a big history buff and learning about the Negro Leagues. Some of these guys I've never heard of, but now I'm learning more about them and their family act, uh, family atmosphere. And so I think for the, for the foundation is very, gratifying to us to be able to give these guys a final resting place and also too I think for the city of Pittsburgh to be blessed to have some great players here. Right and do you know are you able to reveal some of the other players? Yeah so first of all I'll tell you our website is jgfmemorialmarkers.com.org um, but uh, David Allen we're doing um, um, two other I can't think of the names offhand but I know it's six total. Okay. Um, we're from Homewood Cemetery to Mahogany Center and Braddock to Allegheny Cemetery um, all through all through Allegheny County, we're going to be putting grave markers on. And for people who aren't familiar with the Josh Gibson <laughs> Foundation, what is your goal with the foundation? Well, people who are familiar with the Josh Gibson Foundation, as you mentioned, Josh Gibson is one of the greatest baseball players of all time. Um, we have three locations in the city of Pittsburgh. We serve over 300 inner city kids by providing education, athletic, and scholarship opportunities for inner city kids. Um, we're very excited to be around for over close to 20 years now. Yeah. Uh, my grandfather, Josh Gibson Jr., started the foundation. So we've been blessed to be a part of this great city. And, and as we all know, Pittsburgh is a great sports town. Yeah. And what else do you do? You help these kids. What, do you have clinics and camps mm -hmm. and that sort of thing? So we got a summer camp going on right now. Um, actually coming up, we have two new initiatives. One, we, we just talked about the Grave Marker Project. Right. There's a new documentary coming out called The League. That is coming out. Um, we're having a talk back July 12th at AMC Theaters. Um, so people want to come and see that, check out the Josh Gibson Foundation website. And, um, you know, right now, though, our kids are in a summer camp. We have our summer camp going on right now. And as you mentioned how hot it is, they're in a pool, I'm pretty sure, right now. <laughs> so um, the main thing is that we want to just give these kids the opportunity and get them off the streets. And before we let you go, I, I know that fundraising is a big part of all of this. A lot of it can't happen without yes. that. So how can people contribute and, and give back to help you? Yeah, so they can go to our website, which is joshgibson.org. For the Memorial Project, as I mentioned, is jgfmemorialmarkers.org. Okay. 
Um, they can also go in there and raise money and help the Cedar marker come to fruition. That's great. Thank, Thank, Thank you. you so much for coming on and telling us more about this. And we'll make it easy for people. We'll link them up on our website too. Thank you. But thanks again. And, and we can't see, wait to see all the projects. Great. Thank you. Uh, the Great Marking Ceremony will be tomorrow at noon at the Monongahela Cemetery in North Braddock. We will be right back after the break.